if that car turns. Do you want to Just keep the clip going. We'll go on this one. I want to do a quick shout out to my creator. We were testing on this road and I was busy focusing on my cameraman. It's hot, car's coming. And uh, starting to build my confidence back up, but it's kind of a new asphalt pave. Even though the road wasn't very steep, uh, my rear wheel broke loose. <laughs> Had that gut feeling like, dang, and why don't I wear a helmet? Anyway. You know, that's the risk you take when you want to be free. But uh, anyway, I just want to say when you're skating, make sure you're not too focused on your friends or, you know, that hot girl walking down the side of the street or the sunset coming up or down. And pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to rocks. Pay attention to, you know, the, the, the asphalt. It's kind of a hot day today. So anyway, just I just had to say thank you, God. I'm grateful that I prayed before we rolled because I'm walking out of here. All right, peace. Later. Yeah, I just had some of my peoples roll in, uh, so I had to take a little break from what I was talking about the clip. But worth mentioning, uh, I know that I've probably thrown it out there in different parts of the clip, is this being an all maple deck, and I remember uh, talking about how, how, how stiff the board was and how I like that for stiffness, not only for my um, my push down the street, but also for a pump. I, I get a better reaction off it. I can get the, get the trucks moving faster. But for free ride as well, which uh, I'm going to include a clip of me just doing some light free riding. And the, another, like the main thing, I, could, I explained it to a friend, friend once, is like there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out on the market. And if you have the budget for it, um, by all means, um, I mean, you can't, can't take your cash to the grave, but for people on a budget, having an all wood deck allows you to be able to customize the wheel wells. Uh, this specific, my, my boards, um, they came in parameters that I could use center set wheels, side set wheels, um, but because I'm using pump trucks, I went with, uh, on this particular setup, know with wheels that are side set because when the wheels spread apart too far then the deck gets too flexy and then you're not um, transferring the energy from the pump to the deck to the trucks to the wheels okay well moving right along let me just mention this setup uh, for your do-it-yourselfers above all things when you get if my cameraman can watch me no matter what happens what you decide for your setup, and I know this is a very basic thing for most people, but you have to check wheel bites. When you got the board tapped out, you need the clearance so the wheel doesn't hit the deck. Now for the rear truck, because it's a 42 degrees, so oh, I'm standing on the grass, which isn't really probably the best solution. So let me see if I can do that. I don't want to roll, so that's a little bit better. Um, you don't want it to tap out. And so no matter how hard I push, I still will have the clearance of an eighth inch in there. Now mind you, yeah, when you got speed, you're, you're not going to compress so much that you have wheel bite and there is a tolerance to get away. 
but I prefer to eliminate the tolerance and make sure there's zero, zero chance of wheel bite. Uh, it's a horrible thing when your wheel sticks the deck when you're going fast or you're carving down a hill hard. So the benefit to having an all wood deck is that you can modify, but be careful because some decks, the neck is already too, too narrow or in order to run the wheels you want to run, you'll make it so it's too has too much flex in it. Um, offhand, I think this is like at least four inches right here, uh, the neck. And this is a symmetrical board, so it's the same on both sides. All right, I'm going to try to speed through this. I've got a Vector Bennett truck that I've had to wedge for two reasons. Get a little bit more angle on the Bennett's. And it also had to match the height of the Randall. So that when I laid the board flat, we don't, we're not pulling, you know, a wheelie. Or we're not, obviously that would drop the back end and vice versa. So sometimes you have to wedge when you use two different trucks. Now, I did a lot of research and God bless those who shared their information, as which, which is what I'm trying to do. There's something about the, uh, the Randall trucks. It's got a 42 millimeter base plate. But using this chubby, uh, and I want to mention I'm 185, 190 pounds on 510, so this is for my weight setup. But this chubby with the flat washer from Red Tide fits in here really well for a good resistance. And then you have a 97A um, crank bushing here. Now, what I think I didn't mention earlier was this chubby is crank and this uh, this barrel is cranked from Riptide as well, which are, these are the bushings that when you can actually, are meant to tighten down, you can change this to 98, or you could change the, uh, the 91 to 92 or 93 with just some pressure. So, really it's a 42 millimeter base plate. These are, this is a 150 hanger, like I mentioned. You don't want it to be too wide because you're using it for a pump board. Um, the Randall trucks, you can see the double cones. Let me see if I can. And this is a WFB fat cone, which uh, gives, I wanted resistance, but I also wanted it to not restrict the uh, dive on it. And then I went back with the APS crank pushing uh, cone with a regular small cup washer because I wanted the the APS is a little snappier than the WFB, so I've got the combination right here. Uh, quickly, I just want to follow through. The wheels, side set, drag 76 millimeter. They are, I believe, an 83 uh, Duro. These are going to be hard to find. Now, I'm in the process of ordering some, uh, some wheels from Kryptonics. From all the reviews and everything I, I read, they, they have... I've seen nothing but positive reviews, and the reason why I mentioned Kryptonics is because you want a side set wheel. If my cameraman can can show that there's absolutely no cup, no divot, no, it's just, and this is necessary in order that you don't get wheel bite. So that was important to mention. This deck is 30.50 wheelbase from inside the truck holes. We have 9.78 width, uh, and. I have decided to uh, premiere this board out of all the multiple setups because for pump and push, it's awesome. For push, it's at a great ride height. Uh, it works well as a free ride board as well. Um, I'm including a clip of me just kind of cruising, doing brake checks down a hill. And when you're up at speed, uh, the board is still stable. I mean, it's it just tracks and, and it's enjoyable. So when you when you get in a, a little pump and you get going fast, it just holds the line. It doesn't feel squirrely. It doesn't you know it's it's you just gotta ride it. You're you're welcome to uh, if you're in San Diego to look me up. You're more than welcome to try any of my rides. Uh, easy way to look me up is San Diego Skateboard Longboard Race Club. My contact information is in there from Facebook and. Uh, I have videos of this on YouTube too. Michael Landagent, spelled M I C H E L. And uh, Landagent is Land Agent with an E. Alright then. So let's get some more footage. I think that covers it basically for the setup. And uh, we're good to go. Oh, on the uh, 
Bennett vectors, these are the 6.0. Axle end to axle end is uh, 8.5 inches. And it's the same width as the Randalls, which uh, is 150 millimeters, is the hanger. All right then, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna show a little clip of uh, the board doing some uh, free ride. Uh, one of the side streets in my neighborhood. So let's get it done. Well, I want to mention it's freaking hot today, so the wheels are kind of kind of loose, sliding on their own. I just want to mention, uh, this, I really like this board with the aspect of uh, being able to recommend it to beginners. Because before you really step up your game on free riding and you know increasing your speed, uh, just getting the technique down, um, that's what, what I really think that this board is versatile as a pump and push setup with some free ride capability. Because if my cameraman spins around following me uh, this hill has actually got a nice slope to it and uh, I mean I'm standing up straight and you can kind of see you know the angle if you plays a little bit with the horizon you can kind of see how the road gets lost on the hill and uh, really to have a board I mean that does distance very well but at the same time, um, has has a great pump to it, and I mean the wind was blowing against me on the other clip I was just doing of the pump, so I, I failed to mention that. But without the wind um, blowing against me, I mean it, it had a lot more capability. Well, let's go do another run down this hill.